Eclipse watching if there's a push through security. Skies will take out Slash though, and look at this, Eclipse with one, two for Eclipse! Oh, this is winnable, they will need to defuse, and the time running out, but Eclipse, it'll oh! trade! But Rogue will take it, a trade to finish things off! How does this happen? Guys, this ain't CSGO. It's not Call of Duty, and it sure as shit isn't Overwatch. This is Rainbow Six Siege. And for our first R6 best of, we're taking a look at the best attacker plays. Now, unfortunately, that means no Tachanka. What the fuck? Right, but it does mean some pretty sick rushes. Oh, just a moment. Oh, this is gonna be fast. Here we Ooh. go. They're rushing the site. They know it's clear. They're just gonna head right on down, and there's nothing to stop them right now. Some absolutely butt-clenching clutches. Oh my god. The 1v1. The Nesk won't peek. There's no time. Oh, but he gets the kill! It's Let's go! Are you it. kidding me? And of course, just those sick plays and multi kills. Moving in, not checking much. There's still a lot of time to use the breach charges. And oh, what? So let's get it started with one of the plays attackers do best the rush. So you've got a Blitz, a Lion, and a Dokumi, and they're just going to immediately pop uh -oh. that, and they're just probably going to sprint right in. I imagine that this is going to be a very fast round, no matter who wins. Yeah, absolutely. Nine Line catching Pulse off guard in the main lobby. Talon from behind, using that DMR, will get the headshot. Canadian goes down, and here comes the rush. Ronin already inside of Laundry, forcing these defenders back as the mirror windows go up. Young through the wall will get the kill, though. Cookies reciprocates as he pushes through the main hall way and Ronin for the first time look like they have a chance and their own dominance in this match. This is a wonderful cheese strat that we see right now but EG is able to come up billboard eliminating Necrox and BK takes it out Ronin what that took 45 seconds and that round is over. There's no Jaeger coming out from base on their defense and it looks like we're just gonna see a five-man push straight into the garage. It's looking very nice from boot camp. I'm excited to see how quickly this it is gonna happen. There's the train from boot camp straight in to the bank garage. And they're just all in here right now. They're just gonna roll all the way through straight up the stairs. Probably they're gonna see that this is all actually reinforced. Surely they have drones in position here to know that this is going on. The lions go out, the Dokepi calls go through, and they are completely caught by surprise oh, here. Palu takes him down. Palu with a <laughs> double kill. Palu with a triple kill. Just straight onto the site. 1v5 all of a sudden. What an amazing rush from boot camp. Teller's archives, and this is match point. This could be over very, very fast. They're just going to sprint right in and cut through the site. Cleave right through Vitality. But it doesn't look like there's anybody on site. They'll get a plant off within 30 <laughs> seconds. Vitality so committed oh, no. that no Vitality. Everybody is still alive. The good news is that this is still winnable for Vitality, but they'll retake and all the sites will be trained on all the various members. Bobby and Goga, Pengu, can we see Kanto? And Jonas pick up kills. Just two left here for Vitality. Brit can get the first one for his team though, as Pengu goes down watching the Visa flank. The Firebolts in the back call are going to prevent any potential pushes, but Goga will also take out Brid, leafing Spark in a one versus four, and he has no time. Now guys, being an attacker means more than just taking a site and dropping that defuse. You gotta wait 45 agonizing seconds while that goes to work, all while the retake comes in. Oh man, this is this is an anticlimactic ending if I've ever seen one. Just frustrated. I, I want to see this in Pojo Digest. This is the frustration and Fox ultimately winning out with the knife. Right. So let's take a look at some of the attackers who held their nerves in some pretty hairy situations with the best clutches on the attacker side. Goga will find Astro who's playing above and that will cut down one of the roamers on FaZe's behalf. Oh, oh great toss! You to the double! Goga and Jonas vanquished, leaving Kanto Raketi to deal with the three remaining members of FaZe. And very quickly, he will reduce it to two with Moringa and Yuna just waiting. But the shotgun of Moringa looking at the corner of the doorway. Kanto doesn't think he can vault. He sees the Mira for a second, his position in bathroom given away. But he's gonna give himself easy access in towards service. And this is a very winnable position with that R4C in the hands of the Finn. I'll need to grab the diffuser. It's quite a ways away. Moringa prone with the shotgun blast. Kanto around the corner. The oh! double! What a clutch! Kanto, the madman, silencing the crowd. Hungry will not get leadoff kill this time, but Brit will get paid for by Rips as he takes two down with him. Zebra eliminating Para. 
and it's 3v3. That Diffuser in the hands of Vale, getting planted, and they will stick the landing. Rips a third kill, not KS eliminated from Bibu. The Glass looking for a fourth, tries to behead Bibu inside a dirt tunnel, but can't land it. Goes for another shot before healing back. Now it's only up to the Glass. They need to drop at the same time, and hopefully they'll be able to hold off that DMR but they are running out of time. Spark starts to defuse. Bibu looking for the glass, tries to take out the Ella, rips a fourth. Is he gonna get it? Tries to shoot away, unable to connect, rips the ace, and one up takes it. Eclipse watching if there's a push through security. Skies will take out Slash though, and look at this, Eclipse with one, two for Eclipse. Oh, this is winnable. They will need to defuse, and the time running out, but Eclipse, it will oh! trade, but Rogue will take it. A trade to finish things off. How does this happen? C4 is gonna get thrown by BC, won't hit anybody, but they do spot both players moving in. Problem is, both players coming to the same position. All they can do is just choke them out. BC gets one, can't get the second. That'll be a quick drop from Vale. Spots the second, takes him out as well. And then the third, Valkyrie. All on Canadian. Can he clutch this? The in-game leader, the infamous player from the team. <laughs> one of the most famous players in the entire game. You see the bomb might get set up. C4 is going to get thrown, but he's not ready for it. And comes in for the knife. Oh, oh my god, Vale gets the kill. Canadian gets dropped. And what up? Cannot believe this kill. Sexy Cake will take out Diogo from inside of Puka, but he all. Oh wow! A second one for Sexy Cake. He should have gone down, and Yukul actually down him. One, the last defender here. He has two downed attackers as well. Three people crawling on the floor. A one versus one. And oh no! Sexy Cake though has picked himself back up because he's playing Sophia, and he's gonna be able to push one with the pre-fire. Sexy wow. Cake takes it. What just happened? Another logic bomb is the smoke will choke out Shuttle. He'll toss in a smoke grenade of his own and push it with the SMG-12. Oh. oh, a great shot all the way across to marry you. A long angle with a recoil that can be quite unwieldy to control. Yeah, see Raisil inside a connector. He's got a great position, but he loses to Shuttle. And another one nearly for Shuttle. He misses the shot, but the flick behind! There's only a one more left, and Shuttle wins it! What is going on? An incredible clutch from Shuttle. So, we've seen some of the best openers and some of the best round enders on the attacker side, but what about everything in between? Let's take a look at some sick plays and multi-kills. He's, he's, no, he's, he's out of done, right? He's out of him, okay. He, he, did, he did it already. He's one to open the wall. What but a flick there from we Benji. Go. Crazy, going for the opportunity. Yeah, that's gonna let Benji just sit back up there like a gargoyle again, somehow not being killed. And he has dropped and he will Ooh. get the second kill, this time on Breezy. He's going for a third, that's the echo inside a projector. Benji absolutely on fire. All the kills for his team in this round. Yeti will refrag onto Snake Nade, but Benji a oh. 4K! The doc is not in break room this time, which of course, Hedy is definitely gonna check. But he's going to smartly leave a drone for some overwatch here up on the fan. He's also going to get spotted. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that? We're at a minute 22. We're still nowhere near getting on the site. And these holes <laughs> that have been opened, the they stun. can definitely uh, work the other way against Rogue. I like those stuns just giving off that they're above there. That gives us a warning for the C4s to blow as well. But Waka gets the kill anyways in Slash. The problem with the position that Waka's in is that you cannot contest him for the front, but Oops. he still has to remember well. Habana just already opened this position. They have not opened the mirror window. Now they'll get info and Waka will oh. spot him right through the mirror window. Oh. Unfortunately here for easily. This is an angle that he might be able to contest. No, unfortunately, he takes just a bit of damage there. A walk, I guess, the second one. Eclipse, though, will get one. Turning it into a 2v2. Now they push it on the side. The Bandit will lose out on this. Eclipse, the last alive on the Ella. He spots the head and takes him down. ace for Waka? The ace for Waka in the round. But they were looking for an early pick. Didn't happen. No problem. Can move back yeah. and push through with his That's teams. a great call by Zephyr because he had a limited angle. If he didn't get something from it, he needs to move on. Otherwise, he's just burning up time. He could end up in a clutch situation. Oh, oh that's Here we go. He's going to try to spot the left. Oh, the angle no! takes him out. Avian! Birdman is down. Oh my god, I believe oh, that was Dave's died, yeah. C4, yeah. Unfortunate. Wasn't able to use it, and now we see Bosco setting Here up. Here we go, the four. timing. You go, Ura. Let's see if he can play. This is Venice. Yes, he can. Trippin yep. is going to fall to the floor. And it's right next to Snake Nate, but Bosco's ready for him. Takes him down. Remember the pulse laxing, just moving in, not checking much. There's still a lot of time to use the breach charges. And oh, what? Wow. What? That's god is going down. What? How does that even happen? But the thing is with Geo, the way he's able to control that main squad. Oh, speaking of what? which, just tap, tap, you're done. 
are shot by Geotrop's or boss. And I'm really surprised by the Mocket setup here. They're looking like they want to play for a retake of meeting top floor, and they're just not having the top control necessary to stop this plan. <laughs> Heal with another one on a Hungry. Going off on the glass once again. He's another one in piano. Geo continuing the run, and he's not going to stop anytime soon. Plank completed by EG, and they all bail out for the post plan while Revan is feet away from the attempted defuse. Lights up the backside, and Panic's going to complete it onto NVK. Young taking a little bit of damage. Panics with another one, so it's down to only a one-man deficit. Geo missing the shots for the first time. He's got the angle on the diffuser. And there's Canadian coming up spiral to end Revan's run. It's all up to Panics, who's overhealing. They're just healing back up to 100. His only real option here is to drop as Canadian has spiral covered. And this is going to be one peek in from Geo as he tries to rush the front door. Geo going for 4K. And he's going to nail it. Geometrics, evil geniuses. Well, guys, that's it for this week's Best Up. Now, if you do want to see more Rainbow Six content and if you want to see the Defender version of this Best Up, well, let us know in the comments below. Hit the subscribe button and we'll try to make it happen. Thanks for watching. If you want more great content just like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button.